Hey, post post movie clarity. <laughs> um, oh my god. So as soon as I go, I'm going to sleep because I got to work early in the morning. But I think if this movie is a close, like a close on the chapter that was super brief, known as the multiversal saga. And the next phase that they're basically opening up is the mutant saga. I do believe that this is the best multiversal movie that Marvel has put forward. The 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 only demerit I have against this movie is that I think that the trailers revealed a little bit too much. That a little bit too much stuff was leaked on on Twitter and TikTok. It would have really been nice going into this movie and not knowing about I would say even if you've seen every cameo, every leak on Twitter for the last few months, that only surmounts to what I think is about 40%, maybe 35% of the cameos that you're essentially going to see in this film. I think that Deadpool and Wolverine did what Spider-Man No Way Home did, but better which is they bring back so many nostalgic characters from from all of the Marvel movies, small or big, and just had them cameo and exist in a world together. If anything, I would say that Deadpool and Wolverine reveals that you can do X-Men and mutants and... um. Oh, what's that other organ organization called? Damn, they're about to get a movie with uh, Bucky and uh, Black Widow. I can't remember them off the top of my head. It's super fucking late. But it kind of shows that you can have, all, not X-Force, that you can have all of these different organizations, all these different characters basically existing in this world together, interacting with one another, and just, 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 just living their absolute best fucking life. There were so many great cameos in here that didn't feel forced, that made you wonder what if uh, Disney had gotten control of Marvel a little bit sooner, or what if Fox wasn't an absolute fucking shit show, and they had put forward their absolute best in regards to the X-Men franchise. So fucking good. We have, we, have, we, have, we have so much to talk about, because this entire movie... Is, is spoilers <laughs> like this whole movie is spoilers like i can't talk about one aspect uh of the movie's plot that doesn't spoil some type of character in some way shape or form there is a team up that occurs in this film that i did not know i needed that the inner child in me was super fucking happy to be able to see that was an absolute fucking blast and i absolutely loved every single fucking second of it it was fantastic um, uh, what is her name? She was on the crown. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Like I said, I literally just like, literally just like left the theater. I'm still in the parking lot. But, uh, Emma Corrin, she plays, uh, Cassandra Nova in this film. As somebody who went into this film not knowing a lot about Cassandra Nova, and I feel as though I'm someone who's into Marvel, but I'm not into Marvel. Uh, I was always a DC person. So I know big actors, but I don't really know small actors who may have showed up in like a comic book at some point in time in the past. But she did such a fantastic job as Cassandra Nova being a villain, but at the exact same time, having a little bit of sympathy for her situation that she like you find she finds herself in menacing, like absolutely menacing. This is one of those villains that I really feel deserves more you know like how uh what is his name the high evolutionary was in guardians of the galaxy 3 where this person shows up steals the scene every single time they are on screen you're locked in this is the type of villains that we need going forward in marvel like ap absolutely if we're moving away from the overarching villain we need the killmongers we need the the high evolutionaries we need the the the, the cassandra novas we, uh, we need the namors we need those really really great villains no more generic villains fantastic hugh jackman a plus my man brought his motherfucking a game he said he would never work out 
to be as jacked as he was for Wolverine, he fucking lied. My man got ripped. He got absolutely shredded. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, of course, brought his A-game as fucking Deadpool. Absolutely fantastic in every way, shape, and form. We got a lot to talk about. You know me. Um, we're not going to be doing any spoiler things for the weekend, but we are definitely going to we are definitely going to be getting into some shit and talking about some shit come uh, Monday. Monday is when we're just going to start talking about every single fucking aspect of this film. We're going to give people time on the weekend to basically go and watch it. Then Monday we're going to be talking about it. So if on Monday you start seeing uh, trailers and, and videos that I release and you're like, oh, golly gee whiz, like, like that's a little bit of a spoiler. Like, yeah, you had an embargo. You had the weekend. Uh, if you haven't seen it by the weekend, my suggestion is you do what I did, and you tried to you tried to stay off Twitter and you tried to stay off all of that other extra stuff on the side because you didn't want to get spoiled by anything. I'm actually happy that I did not see or watch the last trailer because uh, there's a character that essentially pops up that was in that trailer. I did not see that character, so when the character actually popped up in the theater, I was one of the few people that was fucking shocked. Um, whereas like the, the friends that I was with, like knew that she was going to be in it. So, Hey, but at the exact same time, TikTok low key leaked some shit. And I knew about two cameos that I really didn't want to know about until I fucking saw them on TikTok and I was mad. But at the exact same time, those characters were absolutely fantastic when I saw them. But yeah, um, just me in my car post theater, uh, talking about, Deadpool and Wolverine is absolutely fucking fantastic, and we're definitely going to be talking about it more in the channel come Monday. Peace.